Hopefully now. We do have Brent on the air. Hi. Dr. Hey, where are you, Brent? I'm sitting on Otter Lake Road looking at Otter Lake, and I just saw a, ah, at least, it's a fish story, but I think it has to be at least 10 inches long just jumped out of the water just right right there. So 10 inches in, in, in your measurement in or fish, 10 inches in regular? In fish length. <laughs> in fish length. That's like dog years. What does that mean? So back roads, uh, Brent, how many back roads have you taken to where you are? Oh, my God. Oh, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know just, how many. Just so your listeners know that this Otter Lake is just outside of Armstrong, B.C., and um, I started off going to Surrey for my cousins for a few days, and then I headed up to the Okanagan. And as you know, I grew up in Kelowna, so when I came over the hill and saw the lakes, I went... <laughs> right on. It's just gorgeous up here, and I've been all the way up to the Shushwap. I went to Sycamoose and Shushwap Lake Campsite, and uh, back down to Penticton, and up and down, back and forth, up and down, back and forth. Because you really don't have a plan. <sighs> No plans means no disappointments. Does, oh, well, that's a good way to look at it. And no plans yeah. means you've got no deadlines. Yeah, well, I do have plans because I am using government campsites and I do book reserve them. So I do have kind of like an idea where I'm going. Um, I'm going to Bear Creek, which is on the west side of Kelowna. And then I'm going to Merritt for a day or two. And then I'm going up around Little Wet and Cash Creek and then down to what they call Ellis Lake, which is in Squamish. Oh. And then... Uh, to my cousins for eats, and then on the ferry, and I come home on Saturday. So I'd be gone for almost, I'd be gone for three weeks when it's all, all oh, nice. said and done. So lots of uh, song ideas along the road? No. <laughs> no, you did all your writing before you hit the road, and yeah. that's it? Yeah, I've been taking lots of pictures, <laughs> and I haven't been doing a, a good job of updating Facebook or website, but I'll do all that when I get home. But the picture you just posted this morning, it doesn't look as smoky up there as it does down here. Well, I wouldn't know because I, this is the first time I've seen the smoke. I was up in the shoe swap yesterday, and there was none up there. That fish just jumped again. Woo-hoo! He's probably the same one, too, right? It just... did, yeah, he jumped in the same place, too. So he's just saying hello. They're nice. <laughs> yeah, there was no smoke up in the shoe swap, but it was like 30 degrees up there yesterday. Oh, man. The day before. So the weather has been great. I haven't run into any rain yet. Well, it's coming uh, tomorrow cross my fingers um so yeah i might be doing a little bit of rain camping but so far for the two weeks plus i've been out i haven't seen any rain at all really well aren't you lucky well yeah i planned it that way well good thing that people you know, you know things were listening to you so you were getting the the trip you were wanting because you've been talking about this for quite some time well i've been talking about going to newfoundland yes I, you know it didn't work this year so I traded in my Suzuki 4x4 and got me a, what they call a Chevy Uplander, which is a big old van car thing. Threw a bed in it, got some camping gear, and took off. Um, before I went on this road, I've been up and down the island camping all over the place. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a place on the very south end called French Beach. Mm-hmm. And, of course, the next thing you see from there is California, so the waves are huge there. And then I went up to North Saanich, which is way up the north, the other part of the island, and then up to Campbell River, all over the place. The only place I haven't been to yet this year is the West Coast. Wow. East Coast? West Coast. West Coast? East Coast. You cue it, all that, out, out there. I didn't get, I didn't get there yet, that yet this year, but if the weather holds, what's to stop me? Exactly, right? Yeah, so I've been uh, really enjoying myself. I haven't had a trip like this in a long time, and... Oh, does it ever feel good to be home? I know I've been in Nanaimo for 30-some-odd years, but I still call Kelowna Okanagan home. Right. You know, where you grew up. Where you were born, where you kind of spend your earlier years. Yeah, well, I don't remember being born. It was, it was a, a long time ago. It was it? Well. <laughs> but it wasn't in Kelowna. I was, I was born in Win- Winterpeg. I heard that from you but, before. Yeah, but I was like five when we moved to Kelowna. So, But I went up the hill where I... Um, where I used to live and grew up, and, you know, things do look kind of the same. Uh, the road, everything looks smaller now, but I'm bigger. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went up to a cabin on Brown Lake, which is kind of cool because it's, uh, the, the, I wouldn't even call it a road going in there. It, it's, a one, it's a series of potholes, like a foot deep. We crawled up there. <laughs> 20 kilometers took 90 minutes to oh, get there. that's a yeah. while. But it was very co- cool because the thing that I, the truck went by, I was going to tell you the thing I'm enjoying the most is the quiet. The quiet? The quiet. It is so peaceful out here and quiet. So 
Not a lot of people, not a lot of bugs. Well, until you get to the government campsite, I'm starting to call them Generator City. (laughs) Why are you calling them Generator City? Because there's always two or three generators running at 6 p.m. Oh, okay. Most of the folks that are in there, just they haul their big house on wheels and park it there, and they need electricity, so... Well, but that, it's okay. That's okay. It's okay. You don't mind that. Yeah, I've, right? I've got my wireless headphones, and I just play music while I, while the generators are going. Well, that helps. But, oh, I want to tell you uh, one other thing about um, camping in the campsite. They dump gravel in there and flatten it out, so your feet, when you go to bed, are just black, covered yeah. in dust and dirt. So I've come into a habit of washing my feet before I go to bed. That's actually a good idea. Yeah, everything's covered in dust from those campsites, but it's, you know they're a beautiful place to be. My mom used to call me the barefoot wonder, and she'd say at the end of the day, you're not taking those feet to bed, and I was that, very confused as a small child. I, yeah. uh, how do I not take my feet to bed? I didn't yeah. know. <laughs> did, didn't know. Didn't know. You, had <laughs> you had claws on your feet? Bare, ha, ha, ha. Feet. Well done. <laughs> well done. Yeah. So what's been the biggest part of your adventure so far? Because you're more than halfway through, I take it. Yeah, I'm on the backside now um the best part is it doesn't this doesn't cost a lot of money to buy gas and food that's about it so it's um being very frugal that helps but i'd have to say i'll tell you later what the best part was okay okay, <laughs> okay. When, when we don't have uh, anybody everybody listening. <laughs> but it's it's been all of it's been just fantastic it's just wonderful and like i say no rain so it's i can't i have no complaints at all well, you're going to get back before the rain starts because it's starting soon, evidently, which we kind of do need because there are so many wildfires right now. Yeah. So yeah. not going to complain about rain. No. Not. No. Nope. Not even. Not even nope, a little I'm, bit. I've been so lucky because, uh, like I said, it's been summer weather here. It's just been like 30 degrees. It's like, ah, lakes are great. Uh, when it was that hot, you never even know it is. So how have the mosquitoes been? Well, I haven't got a bite. In, so I left on August 30th. And I did not get a bite until I landed at my father's house yesterday in Armstrong, and they attacked my leg, so I've got some big, welty mosquito bites on my leg. And how is Albert doing? Oh, Albert's great. Oh, man, he's for for a guy who's almost 90, he's he's doing fantastic. It's the first time I've been to his house. I don't call it a house. I call it a cowboy museum. Oh, no kidding. (laughs) He's got statues and pictures and cowboy this and cowboy that. Right on. Oh, wait till he hears this. (laughs) Is he still yo old lo 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 ling? Oh yeah, he's got a, he's got uh, four or five Martins lined up in his in his room there, and he picks one up and plays it for a while, puts it down, picks up the other one, plays it for a while, puts it down. That's what retirement should be, shouldn't it? Oh gosh, yeah, yeah. But you know, he's uh, he is slowing down because you know he's almost ninety years old. So, but uh, he's still <laughs> in great shape. That's awesome. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. Very, it was very cool to see his place because I haven't. He's been there six years and I haven't seen it. So. Oh, right. Yeah, so it's very cool to do. Like I haven't haven't been off the island that much in the last little while. So. Well, it's expensive to do, like you're saying. Yeah, it is. So yeah. the well, provincial the, campsites that you mentioned, is there a place where people can go and find a list of what provincial campsites are available? Yeah, yeah. Uh, to to reserve it, you go to discovercamping.ca. Cool. And to find them, you go to BC Parks, and there's you can find all of them, and there's lots of them. Nice. There's one, the be, like in Nanaimo, you can drive 40 minutes and be in the wilderness in Englishman River Falls or Little Qualicum Falls or even on the ocean at Raft Trevor. And now that the long weekend's over, they're pretty much just go, you drive up and you pull in and self-register. So it's it's really cool. That's a good thing, especially during the COVID thing. Man, you pick the right yeah. time to go away and be on oh, your yeah. own, hey? <laughs> yeah. Not I bad spent, planning. I spent four days at Shushwap Lakes campsite and had to move twice. But on the last night, I just drove around, found a site I liked, and picked it and went down and registered. It's, and it was the best site so far because it was so private. Ah. Very cool. Yeah, it was. it's all been cool. It's all been fantastic. So is there anything that you didn't bring that you should have bring or something that you thought you would need yes. but you don't? Yes. What? Spices. Spices. Ooh. I didn't bring any dill or um, I didn't even bring any salt. I didn't. All I, got, all I brought was pepper and, and barbecue sauce. Better so than nothing, I, but yeah. Well, when I build my van, uh, I'm going to make sure it's got a spice rack in it. <laughs> so this is kind of your test run? 
Yeah, yeah, that's what I've been thinking about is what do I need, what do I don't need. Yep. Um, I have um, just about everything that a guy needs to uh, survive, even if you don't have a campsite. You know, I've got water and, mm-hmm. and cooking and barbecue and uh, And your guitar. Uh, no, you know the et cetera part. The et cetera, yes, yeah, the et cetera. Et cetera. My bucket, my bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Just as long so, as there's not a hole in your bucket, your yeah, bucket. Well, no. So I, yeah. So I've got everything. Um, one thing that I've found about being on the road for, for so long is that things do get grubby and dirty, and there's really no way to get them really clean when you don't have a kitchen with you. Right. So when I stopped at my father's yesterday, I washed all my pots and pans and did all my laundry and took a, about a 10, 15 minute shower. <laughs> <laughs> Does feel good, doesn't it? Oh, it was nice. Yeah, it was very nice. But I'll tell you, some of the campsites do have showers. Yes. Uh, the the, uh, the bigger ones do. Like the Shoe Shop campsite has 300 sites in it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's huge. It's really big. But, oh, I got to tell you this, because usually at this time of year, after the long weekend, kids go back to school, they shut a lot of the services off. They shut most of the campsite down, but not this year mm. because of the weather and mm. A lot of kids aren't going back to school. And I was talking to one of the workers, and I said, well, you're pretty busy here, you guys. And she said, yeah, we laid off half our workers like we usually do. Oops. So they're, they're doing double the work. Yeah, so they're just busy, busy, busy. No doubt. Yeah, because they're still full. The campsites are still full. And like I say, usually this time they're not. Right. Because we have summer weather. Yep. And some kids aren't going back to school. So. And what a great way to spend some time with your family in this time where things are not quite the same as they usually are. Yeah, lots of families yeah. in these campsites. And yeah. as you know, Pam, my, one of my favorite sounds is the sounds of kids laughing. Yeah. And these kids all get together and ride their bikes up and down the road and they start laughing and they just howl and they're just, you know, peeing themselves laughing so hard. And it's such a beautiful sound. <laughs> Isn't it, though? Kids laughing yeah. is just, it just makes you laugh, makes you smile yeah, at least. Yeah. Since I've um, not not been doing Brent and Woofy anymore, I, I, that's what I miss. I miss the kids laughing. Oh, of course. Yeah. And speaking of that, you have to tell me: uh, Is there going to be any Christmas parties this year? Should I shave my beard or just keep growing it for? Santa? Oh no, grow your grow. Your, no, no, we need Santa this year. We need Santa this year more than ever, man. Uh, okay, thank you. That's, <laughs> what I, that's what I needed to hear. <laughs> We're going to need that comfort face. That's what I needed to hear. Okay, beard stays. <laughs> Silly. What a silly question to ask me, Brent. I'm going to post this picture that I took just before I left my father's. He has a picture of me when I was 26. And so I got it standing beside this picture. 26 in the old picture, 62 in the new picture. There's a bit of difference. A little bit, and just the numbers reversed. Yeah, and I, it looks like I'm holding up a picture of my grandson. <laughs> you could, well, hmm, yes, maybe. <laughs> So I'll post that on Facebook the next time I uh, get a chance to do it. Um, the campsites, some of them have good cell service and some of them have crappy cell service. Right. And, uh, yeah, so it depends on where. Can you hear me now? Mm. Hear me now? Yeah, no kidding, right? So there's a lot of people who are too young to understand that commercial because that's even gone, right? I'm sorry, a bike went by. And I <laughs> Say that again? There's a lot of people who are actually too young to remember that commercial. Right. Okay. I was told that. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, I was thinking walking around the campsite going, can you hear me now? Can yeah. you hear me now? Um, when I was at the campsite, I heard a loud motorcycle, and it reminded me, I have not heard a loud motorcycle in 10 days. Yahoo! <laughs> As you know, they rumble by my house. So. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm actually on the back of one that rumbles by your house. There you go. <laughs> so it's you. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, not No. <laughs> Well, once in a while it will be. Yeah, yeah. So, sure. Backroads, Brent, how can people find your adventures on Facebook? Let me know. Let them know. Let us know. Well, right now, just look for Backroads, Brent. On say, just search, do a search for Backroads, Brent. I also have BackroadsBrent.com, but like I said, it hasn't been updated. But all my music and stuff is there. You can go to BackroadsBrent.com and check out all that. There is a map there of... Um, all the sites I went to on Vancouver Island and uh, Vernon and Kelowna, then I haven't got the ones I went to after that. So, But I'll get to that when I get home. And home is when? Saturday, you say? Saturday. Coming home Saturday. Yeah, I booked the ferry um, because the last thing I want to do after 
20 some odd days out on the road to sit the ferry line up for four hours. No thanks. No kidding. Good <laughs> so point. I got a, res- got a reservation. So my cousin in Maple Ridge has offered to make me dinner. His wife is a wonderful cook. She, she cooks at the campsite in, in Merritt, and it looks like gourmet cooking. It looks better than most people get at a restaurant. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I'm going to fill my body and sleep in the van in the driveway and then get up and come home. Nice. So, well, that'll be my last adventure is getting a, a beautiful, excellent meal cooked for me. Well, I'm sure there will be some songs coming out of your adventure because you are. A... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you just keep going. You do. Cause, yeah, because when I get home, I have so much time to do all the updates and do them. I, I, I think uh, I'll be just recording another CD this winter. Very nice. So where can the... folks find your music, Brent? Uh, on backroadsbrent.com or YouTube, Backroads okay. Brent. Okay. So I have your CD, The Adventures of Backroads Brent, in my hand. Yes. What song would you like me to play off it? One Rock to the Other. <laughs> One Rock to the Other. Yeah, because I was just talking to a, a woman in the gas station in Salmon Arm, and we were talking about driving down to Vancouver from Merritt or from here. And if you go up to Crash Creek and Sycamus, you can go the long way. But you don't have to go through Vancouver. So I said, I'm in. Oh, no I kidding. I'm going to be going home. And I started telling her about wanting to go from Vancouver Island to Newfoundland, which is one Vancouver Island, one rock, Newfoundland, the other rock. Mm-hmm. So this song is all about going from one rock to the other. Uh, remember that it was supposed to happen in the spring. Uh, so it's you got to put yourself back in the spring before COVID when this song was written. Okay. And, Brent, uh, yeah. I want to thank you for calling in. Oh, no problem. It was, it's great. And I look forward to hearing from you when you get home on uh-huh. This Little Rock. Yeah. And again, tell folks where to find your information, Brent. Facebook, look for Backroads Brent, backroadsbrent.com, or Backroads Brent on YouTube. There you go. And here is yeah. from... And drop me a line. <laughs> drop him yeah. a line. Drop him a message. Yeah. Send him a picture. Yeah. Exactly. Suggestions of where he might go next. Yeah, well, we're, I'll tell you what, where I'm going to go next right now. What? I'm sitting here, and out the window is Otter Lake. And across the street, about, oh, 100 yards up, are two huge willow trees, weeping willow trees Ooh. that we don't get on the island. Yeah. So I'm going to go up there and take a picture of them. Nice. <laughs> nice, nice. It's gorgeous. Have a picnic under it. That's what we yeah. used to do. Well, I think it's in somebody's yard, but uh, nope. <laughs> they're, they're, Maybe just, not. they're just gorgeous. For anybody who's not ever seen a weeping willow tree live, go find one and go look at them. They're just amazing. They're when they're allowed to grow the way they actually grow, uh, yeah. They're just amazing trees. Cool. I'll take that picture and I'll post that up on the Facebook there and say across the street from Otter Lake. Very nice. Thanks, so here pal. is Brent's One Rock to the Other from his The Adventures of Back Road. Brent, find him. Yeah. Take good care. Safe travels home, Brent. Thanks, Pam. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Yeah. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Rolling from one rock to the other, heading back east to see my brother, his stepdaughter, his son, and his mother. A brand new baby makes another. West Rock to the eastern boulder, gotta get there before I get older. Even though it's so much colder, I'll be there for Christmas, and that's what I told her. Driving a van across the land. Everything that I can Meet new folks and make a new fan Cruising the back roads to new feet land Even the west coast rain behind Searching the country for sunshine Saying goodbye to the same old grind Feeling so free I'm unconfined
from one rock to the other, hitting the road by early summer. Lots of new country to discover. I'll be back home by next September. Rolling one rock to the other, rolling one rock to the other, rolling one rock to the other, rolling. Rolling, one rock to the other.